YouTube, time for another fish room tour. We're getting one in here before the end of August, so last day of the month. Uh, can't go wrong. Before I start, make sure you check out the Labor Day sale on AquaticSupportSystems.com. We got 15% off everything on the store. Um, all fish food, all shrimp food. Fish food, we've got, as you know, Southern Delight, um, my favorite brand. We've got um, Northfin, um, got the new flakes in now. But you can see a bunch of them right there. A whole bunch of stuff that I've got uh, also um, gonna be using for aqua shallow coming up at the end of the month. Make sure you go to that as well. But anyway, back to the sale. Shrimp food, Glass Garden, Shrimp King, Low Keys, SL Aqua, Salty Shrimp Remineralizers, um, MK Breed, um, everything. Everything on the website, 15% off. Now, Friday, the 30th of August through Monday, the 2nd of September. So make sure you check that out, 15% off. You don't want to miss it. Good time to stock up on everything. All right, let's get started with the tour. All right, we're going to start today with the Feste tank. Um, she recently laid some eggs. And you can see she's colored up super nice uh, because she's in breeding dress. Um, she's looking real nice. She's ready to eat. Uh, the male's back there. He's looking good as well. And then the three Red Hook Silver Dollars are still doing good. Um, like every time though, the spawns are super small and they usually don't make it. There's the wigglers in the back of the flower pot. You can just see there's not many, but um, you know, it is what it is. Um, just really enjoy looking at uh, her beautiful colors when she is in spawning dress. Um, sorry about all the scratches on that tank there. This tank's pretty scratched up. Um, so there's the male. Um, we'll go down below here to the, uh, the first Trimac tank. This is the bigger of the two pair, but not as colored up as nicely as the other pair that I'll show you later. These are Amphilophus trimaculatus or Trimac cichlid. This is the male right here and this is the female. These guys are in a 180 gallon tank and uh, they're just living as a pair with a pleco in there and that's it. Um, just kind of waiting to see when they can get it figured out and start uh, spawning for me. Over here is the reddest latest tank. These are also housed in 180 gallon. This is the big male. Big nuchal hump on that dog. And then the female. Same story, different video as far as these guys go. No spawning activity at all. Just uh, kinda basically living out their days as wet pets and if they spawn at some point again, great, if not. Uh, my buddy James Randall has uh, some offspring from one of the last times that they did spawn and the male is starting to really turn into something special so he doesn't have a YouTube channel but he does post in a lot of the different uh, Facebook pages so go check that out. And then there's one lone Sebolda I left in here. And then down below are the uh, Hadiensis, still doing well. Um, I haven't fed yet this morning, so um, all the fish are kind of up at the top of the tank. Let me grab some food here and I'll uh, feed these guys. I'm going to go with some uh, Southern Delight Power Feed. That's a bottle. You can get it in bottles or the bigger bulk bottles. Sorry about that. Uh, on our website, AquaticSupportSystems.com. And as I said, um, if you're watching this during the Labor Day weekend 2019, it is 15% off right now. So these guys are going after the power feed and they just love it, of course. See both the male and the female. There's a few fry in there too. Still chilling. This guy's a beast. She's not too shabby either. And there goes the fry after the little pieces that came out of her gills. Get some close-ups of him. I know I say this all the time, but man, I've just really gotten to love his coloration and patterns. Can't wait to see this guy as he continues to grow. Right now he's probably oh, 12 to 14 inches. 
towards the top there. Yeah, we'll give the Aslatus some too. I usually feed these guys large cichlid, but since I got the power feed in my hand, we're just gonna go ahead and do that. The cool thing about Southern Delight too, if you're newer to it, is that they come in these shaker bottles. So, you don't have to touch the food. A lot of people feed as they're getting ready to go to work in the morning or school or whatever, depending on your age or what you're doing. And uh, getting a handful of fish food and then that smell um, with all the other brands, um, you know, Southern Delight, you don't have to worry about that. Just shake it in, easy to control. And uh, yeah, it's good stuff. Um, Here's the Umbi tank. They're ready to eat also. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go grab some large cichlid. Let me put down this power feed. Grab some large over here. This is the large cichlid. Kind of hard on this tank because it's got this sliding top because it's an acrylic, but we'll make a little space. So. See if I can get him to do it. Um, so I can't always get him to do it when I got a camera going, but um, he basically just comes right up out of the water. I can literally pour food into his open mouth sometimes, but it's kind of hard to do with the, with the lid like this. I typically take it off more, but I can't do that one-handed. But anyway, you can see how these guys like the Southern Delight also. She's just going crazy for it up there, and he's already got a bunch. He's gonna go for some more. But this is a wild caught pair of umbies, a real Magdalena, Chronoharos umbariferum, formerly Cacatea or Kakisha umbariferum. Probably, I think I figured it out the other day that they're eight years old, something like that. So. If you're new to this channel, you know that they don't spawn anywhere for me. Um, they're just to that age. Um, also, if you're new to this channel, you know that she's got a bad eye. And that's been that way since before I attained these pair. Mike Mann, who uh, is out of the hobby now, but a lot of you guys that are into monster cichlids know him uh, for... He used to raise the best zombies around and had a quite a quite a fish room. and was well well known and well respected in the hobby these uh this is magnus and beast came from him i know i say that a lot but i like to give credit where credit is due i'm not going to say that i raised these up or anything like that down below here this is magnus and beast's son this is an f1 umbi and that's also an f1 female umbi this is the male here um he's looking real nice also um this is Optimus, and the male or the female is Matrix. They're housed in a 210 gallon aquarium. By the way, this is a 300 up here. Um, and um, they're an unrelated pair. This one came from a different uh, set of parents. They're both F1 and they're both looking good. Um, since we got the food in our hand, let's just keep, keep feeding, I guess. Uh, that freaked him out a little bit. Back up. The 210 stack right here actually. Probably gonna get rid of this arowana above. Yeah, that it's weird. Some of these fish, when you don't do your normal feeding procedures, um, they just freaked out, get freaked out. And the fact that I was there with the camera and the food for whatever reason, he didn't like that. Usually he just goes crazy when I put the food in there, but I did a little different. Let's see if he's gonna head over there now. <clears throat> He has been acting a little weird lately too, but anyway. Okay, arowana, silver arowana. Probably gonna get rid of this guy. You know, I do this all the time. Well, not all the time, but I've had a uh, few arowanas throughout the years, and then I just decide this time, the time I'm, I'm done with them, and I just not interested anymore for some reason. I don't know. And then I'll get one. 
or I'll, I won't have one for a while, and then I'll be like, boy, I want a Narawana. This one I got for free. I kind of rescued him from a guy that was wanting to get rid of him. Anybody local in the Minnesota area that's looking for an Arowana, let me know. We can work something out. Got the clown loaches down here doing good. Got the uh, Moda, male Moda, real Blanco from uh, Sean Hyden in this tank. And then we've got uh, Midas. And then there's a female Moda that hides most of the time down here because she gets picked on super badly by the male. Sometimes she comes out at feeding time. Just let's see if we can make that happen. Sometimes these feedings on camera don't go as well as planned. So, again, Southern Delight Large Cichlid. So what we got going on in that tank right now. Oh, here she is. So she's a little tattered, but she's still around. Um, I thought that she was basically dead, had, had been killed by aggression and then just basically eaten by the other fish in there. But recently she came out. Arowana really loves this large cichlid too. Um, just because it's marketed large cichlid doesn't mean you can't feed it to other fish. Um, arowana, this is a great pellet to grow out arowanas if you, if you keep arowana. Um, highly recommend it. And you can see, just loves it. All right, um, we'll move over here to the other Trimac pair. As you can see, his coloration is much better than that other male. Um, I know I say this a lot too, but she's a little tattered and beat up right now. It uh, happens every time that it's getting close to or right after spawning with this pair. He picks on her. Um, we just need to continue to wait um, and be patient and see that they can grow out and get accustomed to each other. And I think we'll be just fine. Thinking about trying to figure out a way to get these guys into a bigger tank, but I need to move some stuff around if I do that, and I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet as far as that goes. But anyway, that's this pair. Um, got some Hadiensis fry in this uh, dirty grow out tank. Um, last video I said that I was selling them. I have sold a few batches, but I'm backing off on that for now. Um, just been super busy lately, and it's hard to get to the airport and stuff like that. Here's a couple uh, Midas grow outs. I just put one in each of these tanks so that this tank stays cycled. Um, so, Hadiensis, we're holding off on that for now. Wait till a lot of the busyness that I'm going through and, and coming up with Aquashella coming up and we have to take down our family cabin and stuff like that. It's just not going to have time to ship for another month or so. So we'll hold off on that for now. And later in the fall, when they're a little bigger, we'll we'll have these available. So down below is my Citronellus, Amphilophus Citronellus, or Midas Cichlid grow outs. I'm growing these out for myself. So none of them are for sale at this point. Just want to see what I can get out of them. Um, I'll do a little feeding. I typically feed, I'm up to the third, to the size now where I feed these guys, the Southern Delight Power Feed too. But I wanna show you, I know I've done this before, but this North Fin Bug Pro is a good snack as well, high protein. And I, I like to feed it, oh, here I'll give a little to this guy. Loves it. I like to feed it to fish that are big enough grow outs, but even though they're big enough to eat a bigger food at this point, I'll show you how much they love this stuff. It's like crack. So I do supplement that in. Most of my fish are 100% Southern Delight, but I do feed that North Fin Bug Pro to a few of them. This is a prime example. It's good stuff, sell that on the website too if anyone's interested in trying it or if you already use it and, and are looking to get a good price and a good deal on it right now, it's 15% off. All right, um, we'll head on over. We'll do the shrimp tanks on a different tour, but um, there's the shrimp tanks, some of them. Here's the flower horn. This is Colossus. He's a Comfa 9.9, .9, looking real nice. Um, he's hungry right now. I'm not going to sit and feed on every single tank, but... Uh, well, maybe I will. Let me over here and grab 
the large cichlid. A lot of people ask what food is good for flower horns, and I feed mine Southern Delight Power Feed, Southern Delight Growth. Growth is the bottle that actually has a flower horn on it. And then as they get bigger, like this guy, I feed them the large cichlid. Um, down below here is the uh, Midas pear, Amphilophus citronellus. These are the parents, well, not the female, but the male is the parents of the smaller Midas I showed you here a few minutes ago. A little Southern Delight. Large cichlid in for him too. Let's see if it gets her out. Flower horn, this is the uh, red magma. Get a little food going for this cat too. Loves it. Again, the large cichlid. All right, and then down here, you'll see a change. Still got this guy, this is the uh, the large male Moda Jinosuke is his name that I got from Sean Hyden a couple years ago. We now have a female. This is Ezra. This came from James Randall. His large male died, so he gave me this female, which is unrelated to him. So hopefully we can get them to spawn. I've got them, as you can see, in a divided tank right now. She's been pretty scared since... Uh, since she's been in here for less than a week, but um, we're uh, working on getting everybody adjusted and happy and healthy, and hopefully um, we can get them to pair up at some point. Um, let's go upstairs and we'll uh, show you the, uh, the office tanks and then we'll get you out of here. All right, so this is the other Amphilophus citronellus pair. You can see me in the Reflection there, but this is Cheeto and his female Same story different video with these guys also no spawning. There's been spawning behavior her tube drops down massively But I never see any uh, egg laying um, And if I do and if they do lay eggs, I'm, I'm missing it and then they they must they eat them or something but um Still enjoy having these guys as wet pets and up here in my office and can hang out and watch them while I'm working and stuff like that. He's just a real special fish and a real joy to watch. So, And then the final tank we'll show you here is just the 90 gallon planted, much overgrown, needs, um, needs a trim and, and stuff like that. I'm going to be doing some work on this in the upcoming weeks here too. But yeah, that's, uh, that's that tank. All right, so that's basically it for this video. Um, again, 15% off on all products on the Aquatic Support Systems website from today, August 30th, the time you're seeing this, all the way through Monday, September 2nd. That's our Labor Day sale. 15% off everything in the store. Um, there's a code that you need to use. Um, I'll post that below if I remember. Otherwise, um, on the front page of the website, it'll be listed too. Um, also, stay tuned for a video coming from Schwiski. If you guys know Jimmy Wynn, um, he's a YouTuber that does super awesome videos. He was over here a little over a week ago and filmed my fish room again. You might remember he filmed it about a year ago, um, and it was a super, super nice video, the way he made it look, and he's just real good at cinematography and that type of stuff, so... If you haven't subscribed to his channel, it's Schwiski, S, well, it's the word whiskey with an S at the front, so um, check that out, go subscribe to him, and uh, I'm not sure when he's going to um, post the video, but uh, I'm looking forward to it, and that should be cool too. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, let me know in the video, or in the comments below, what your favorite um, fish was in this video, and if you have any other questions or anything like that. And again, make sure you check out our sale on AquaticSupportSystems.com. Take care.